We're celebrating with Frank Cannon, of course, Full Throttle Live, Tesla, go see him wherever you can. And yeah, the Beatles. I mean, we never got truly that live album, but we let it be their final album and that rooftop concert. We had the three songs. Billy Preston was playing with them. You know, Phil Spector produced it. We got a little glimpse of it. And I mean, what can you say about uh, John Lennon, George Harrison, Paul McCartney and Ringo Starr? Just amazing. <laughs> Man, I can't say anything about the Beatles that it hasn't already been said. I'll say it one more time. Four guys, the chemistry. I'll tell you what, if you want to talk about the Beatles, I'm going to let you give Brian Wheat, our bass player, a call because he's the Beatles fanatic in the band. But I would like to talk briefly about our live album, Full Throttle Live. It was recorded at Sturgis. And I remember that show being epic from our tour last year. And uh, when Brian and I, who's the Beatles fanatic, Brian Wheat, when he and I were talking about producing something for Tesla, I immediately said, we got to listen to the full throttle show from Sturgis, the bike rally, because it was a magic high energy show. And so we dug it up, you know, because we record every night. Yep. And we, we dug up that recording and we mixed it and it came together like that because the magic was there. The energy was there. And then we decided that we wanted to cover the Aerosmith SOS Too Bad in my garage. And we have a video for that. We have a video for Miles Away. And uh, we're going to be rocking those songs in Las Vegas uh, at the end of this month, September 28th through October 7th. Of so course, there, changes, plug. changes, breaking free, call it what you want, lazy days, crazy nights, cold blue steel, Edison's medicine. Yeah, you chose some songs that weren't on previous live recordings at Tesla. So first time yeah. you have live, the new stuff, all of that. Yeah, we wanted to do stuff that we hadn't released before. Like we weren't going to put out another version of Signs or a Love Song. We wanted to go deep. So we did Lazy Days, Crazy Nights, Call It What You Want, Cold Blue Steel, Time to Rock. Uh, you know, I know Brian really wanted to put out a new version of Time to Rock that was sounded better than the the demo version that we released. So there's two versions of our new song, Time to Rock, that are out there for the fans to, to listen to. And uh, two videos of that that are out. And Miles Away is one of our favorites. It's a, it's a slammer. And we put out a video of that that was recorded last year and a video of SOS that was done in my garage. And we mixed the album in my garage. So it's totally raw. And uh, so did you like how I shifted from the Beatles to that? Well, well no question. We were going to get to it. But what a segue, man, from the from yeah. the very beginning to the most current Beatles, Tesla. Yeah. yeah, we'd love to talk to Brian about that. I mean, yeah. so many great influences in your band. We hear them, but we hear the originality and yeah. encourage right. everybody to go get the live album, Full Throttle Live. And, of course, see them, whether you see them in Vegas or see them on the road in a town near you, man. Check the website and all that. Yes, 